In a warehouse in Portland, Maine, the exterior walls for the new regional hospital are being pre-built and then trucked to Augusta for installation at the new regional hospital, saving time and money for the construction project. The company that has taken on this task, Porter Panel and Trust. Originally, we started as a drywall company and we've since evolved into a prefab manufacturing company of, of drywall type systems or roof trusses. Speed is the, is the greatest advantage to prefab. It gives us the opportunity to build um, prefabricated wall assemblies or roof assemblies while the building is going up getting ready for those assemblies. And so we show up on site and close the building very quickly. So it saves time and in many ways it can save money, if, especially if you add components to the wall systems. You can add insulation on the exterior of the building uh, or, the, or the panels. You can add window frames. All that kind of stuff gets done much quicker in an indoor environment where you have quality control and weather control. In order for the building to be Silver LEED certified for healthcare standards, materials must be obtained from within a 500 mile radius. The steel used in the walls at the new hospital comes from a mill in Connecticut. Another standard includes a requirement that a high percentage of waste be recycled. We do both metal and wood panels. The metal panels we like to advertise as being green and that because of the prefabrication process, we're able to buy our material, cut to length. Um, anything that we do create for waste is 100% is recyclable. Uh, Maine General is the largest drywall project in the state of Maine and it's the largest project we've ever taken on. It's a uh, 640,000 square foot structure. We recognized immediately that they wanted to use a local component, that was one of the requirements of the, of the owners, the hospital, that they wanted local people used as much as possible and so we were being courted by some of these national firms to, become, to partner with them and we didn't want to be, play second fiddle to an out-of-state firm so and we wanted to keep the, the work as local as possible. So we decided that we would um, joint venture with two other drywall firms and a, an acoustical ceiling contractor, all local. My understanding is it's months ahead of schedule, four or five months ahead of schedule at this point. And uh, I'm very grateful that we can be a part of it. According to a hospital estimate, once the $312 million hospital is completed, Maine General Medical Center expects to use 12 million gallons less water each year and see a $900,000 reduction in heating and cooling costs.